Hello and welcome to Mr. Ridley's GCSE Engineering and this is a vision clip for types of metals. So by the end of this clip you should be able to state why all metals are important in engineering. You should be able to describe ferrous and non-ferrous metals and you should be able to explain the properties of some of these metals. Okay so we're looking at metals in engineering. Metals have always been important in making products. These weapons and tools are from the Iron Age. And the fact that the Bronze Age and Iron Age were named after metals shows their importance to society and to the manufacture of products. This iron bridge in Shropshire was built in 1778 and it was the first bridge in the world to be made from metal. Some people consider the building of this bridge to be the starting point of the Industrial Revolution. During the Industrial Revolution, engineers used metals to create bigger and stronger products. Edinburgh Kingdom Brunel built this ship, the SS Great Britain, in 1845, and at that time it was the biggest ship in the world, and that was made from metal. As technology moved on, engineers discovered that by adding carbon to iron, it made steel. Steel is stronger and harder than pure iron, and that enabled further engineering advances. Now, as the demands of technology advanced, other metals such as titanium and magnesium were added to uh, metals to make alloys. Inside this jet engine, the parts are heated to temperatures as high as 2000 degrees C, which would melt steel. Where do metals come from? Metals are naturally occurring in the form of metal ore. Metal ore is mined and washed, then it is heated in a furnace and pure metal ore, ore is run off. This process is known as smelting. Iron ore is the basis for most seals. Ferrous and non-ferrous metals. If the metal is iron or contains iron, then it is ferrous metal. All other metals are non-ferrous. And here we have ferrous metals, which are steel, stainless steel cast iron, and non-ferrous metals, aluminium, copper, brass. So that's ferrous metals and non-ferrous metals. Most fer ferrous, metals, ferrous metals contain iron and they are usually magnetic. Most ferrous metals will also rust or oxidise when exposed to moisture and oxygen. Okay, so here's a ferrous metal, mild steel. It's cheap, it's the most common metal. It's tough, it can take knocks without damage. It's malleable, it can be pressed into shape without breaking. And it's generally magnetic. It is also easily and widely recycled, but it will rust if exposed to oxygen. Here's another ferrous metal, stainless steel. This is tough, it's malleable, so it's easily forged or shaped into things like the sink or the cutlery. It's easily cleaned, again, a useful for the sink, and it can be recycled. But specialist equipment is needed in cutting and at welding because it is quite hard. Here's another ferrous metal, high carbon steel. High carbon steel is used to make tools and drills. Needs to be heat treated to use properly, either uh, annealed or tempered. Uh, hard, resists abrasion and rusts if not protected. Cast iron. Cast iron is strong in compression. It is strong but brittle, so it will crack if hit but it was resistant to rusting. But it is easily cast into ornate shapes like the fireplace. Wrought iron. Wrought iron is tough and will re resist impact. It is ductile and can be hammered and shaped easily. And it is actually resistant to rusting. And it's used for gates, railings. Non-ferrous metals. These metals do not contain iron and they are not magnetic. Aluminium. Aluminium is lightweight, ductile, that means easily drawn into three wires or shaped. Malleable is also easily cast. It is a good conductor of electricity and it has good corrosion resistance. It forms an oxide barrier but is more expensive when compared to mild steel but it is re easily recyclable. Copper. Copper is malleable, ductile, made into wire easily. 
a very good electrical conductor. It has good corrosion resistance and it can be easily and widely recycled. But again, it is more expensive, more expensive even than aluminium. It does tarnish and change colour over time, but it doesn't readily corrode. Zinc. Zinc is an extremely resistant to corrosion. It has it is used as a protective coating for things like this dustbin or railings. It is brittle but it and easily cracked and it can be recycled. Brass. Brass is very resistant to corrosion. It has good fluidity, so it flows in moulds, so it's good for casting, and it is a good conductor of electricity. It can also be polished to a high polished finish, but again more expensive than mild steel or aluminium. Properties of metal. Ductile is the ability to material to deform by stretching along its length so it can be pulled into wire. Malleable is the ability to, to deform, be hit and, and knocked without cracking. Hard is the ability of a metal to resist wear, like scratching and indentation. Toughness is the characteristic of a metal that does not break or shatter when receiving a blow or under sudden shock. And obviously conductivity is being a conductor of heat and metal. So these are the properties of metals. The strength of metals. Metals, the strength of metal is often measured in tension, which is being pulled or pulled apart, compression, the ability to withstand being squashed, and shear, the ability to withstand being broken apart. Cast iron is very strong in compression, and it, but is not strong in shear, so it's often used in um, pillars in buildings because it is only then in compression. Metals and alloys. An alloy is a mixture of at least two elements, where at least one of these is a metal. Brass, and co brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. If you mix carbon and oxygen, this isn't an alloy because they're not metals. This picture of the periodic table shows the elements which are metals. These are all the pure metals. So this area in blue or grey is the, is the metals. Metals do not appear on the periodic table Metals that do not appear on the periodic table are alloys. These are made when pure metals or other substances are combined. So, gold, copper, aluminium, silver, iron are elements or pure metals. Brass, stainless steel, mild steel are alloys. So why are alloys important? As we said before, alloys have pro properties that are superior to base metals. And as we said before, the jet engine could not be made with pure metals or it would be much more difficult. It needs alloys to get the characteristics from the metals to make products like this. Without alloys, the engine would not function. Brass is formed from copper and zinc. Brass is much harder to, and resistant to corrosion than both copper and zinc. So that's just the, the features. Why this is, is because one, when the layers of atoms here are just regular and in the alloy this disrupts this and makes it harder. Now it's time for questions. Metals. Which ferrous metal is resistant to rust and staining? Able to be formed by pressing? Tough and resists wear? It is stainless steel. Which of these is a pure metal and which is an alloy? Gold, pure metal. Brass, alloy. Copper, pure metal. Pewter, alloy. Stainless steel, alloy. Mild steel, alloy. Aluminium. Is a pure metal. Silver is a pure metal. Iron is a pure metal. Which alloy is a mixture of zinc and copper? It is brass. 
Which non-ferrous metal is a very good conductor? Ductile, able to be pulled into wire and has good corrosion resistance. It is copper. Which ferrous metal is used to make tools and drills, is hard and resists abrasion and can be brittle if not heat treated correctly? High carbon steel. Thank you for watching Mr Ridley's GCSE Engineering and good luck in the exam.